I did, I will answer you. Okay. I did a surgery. I was recovering. I spoke to Chief of Staff and he said, look, rest before you come. This same woman who said that she rest made a call through Honorable Esiama that look, there's E-Levy going on and we have a problem. So we need you. Although I said you should rest, we need your vote. And listen carefully. He said, Honorable Asiyama told me, look, my brother, I was supposed to, I flew first class with Emirates. But Honorable Asiyama, because they needed me, said, look, we're going to hire private jet to come and pick you people up. I just have for myself, Honorable Henry Corte, and Dr. Uh, Honorable Amwakwata. What I said to the minister, please, I don't want my name anywhere. You, any flight, because mine was going to be Monday and they didn't need a vote on Friday. So the Thursday, I said, any flight you get for me, I'll come. I don't want any private yet. I have for Henry Kwaba, Ediba, Vimba's TV. So now, and I'm saying, I tell you, no, yet they say, Obi Abe imposti a joas are for our parliament. I just say, I didn't say, P. A buyer against the NDC and then the NPP, especially uh, during the E. Levy time. I just say, now in Semu, I drew our parliament. Now, a joas are for a barbon thing in the same parliament house. A betray muse. And she was the same person in the parliament house, even though Sebio uh, photos are who I was social media. I chair say Nipani Obolo Chen or Kakra. Now, so I just have for ever cast those allegations are false now. Now, our parliament house uh, during that time now, a your own one a man is standing by uh, the issue. Now, finally, you no know, honorable Kennedy in Japan, I in the name say or your MP or no dear. Uh, he says nothing but the truth. Uh, the insembi abe to abontin say uh, honorable Ajua Safo na oni parliament that day. Now during an interview, I was Asasi Radio, and uh, mistakenly from the look of things, no uh, Ochre the AC uh, actually. Now or taking the time uh, explaining how some MPs were in the United States and then they planned to you know use private jets to bring them into Ghana for uh, the e-levy tax in parliament emma chess or no they are rejected here and or explaining how uh, they managed to arrange a normal flight to bring them all from the united states to ghana any senior now address for a war how she managed to come to ghana and the fact say she refused to come to parliament on that very day and then who's mp now a moment cotino now yeah and judge my own say allegedly no i am passe i do a saffron and our parliament house and uh and you know did you see our fact from honorable kennedy a japan's speech respectfully now answer me about connie stress a month subscribe emma vimbas tv for your latest update yeah that's it henry corte drove from philadelphia dr mwakuba should listen carefully all the efforts everybody has made a commitment that we've all made. Henry Corte drove from Philadelphia to New York, Kennedy Airport. Honorable Amwakwata flew from um, Minnesota to New York Airport. I drove from New Jersey to New York. I drove Boston. Dr. Amwakwata, eh, Amwakuba, what do you know? Ajua Safu refused to come. And MPP people should listen carefully. Ajua Safu, they hired a private jet to bring the woman here. And when she came, she refused to come to parliament. So who was in parliament casting the vote that day? Hold on. Okay. She refused to come to parliament. Chief of staff after buying the ticket and flying her in, had to take a motorcade to Ajua's house. She stood 
behind her, her gate for 30 minutes. What kind of rudeness is that? Before she opened, chief of staff was made to sit at her living room for 35 minutes. When she came, Babin was tired. She is sick. He's sick. He can't wait. If you can't get your numbers, so be it. And we couldn't vote. Going back, she was demanding another private jet. Excuse me. Ah, Dr. Mwakuba, I'm sorry. Please. You don't know what has transpired. Look, about three weeks ago, we went to um, Kou, Rock something. Rock City. City. Rock City. They put pressure on me to call Adwasaf. I placed the call through my daughter. 13 times. She refused to talk to me. She refused. What do you want us to do again? My daughter said to me that, oh, daddy, my birthday. I have not received my birthday present. She was born 27th December. I said, okay, put your mother on the line to give me account and I'll let my friend transfer the money. She refused to talk to me. I heard it. the girl was holding mommy, daddy wants to talk to you. She refused to talk to me. A chief had traveled to where she is just to convince her. She refused to come. Ah, Dr. Mwakuba, if we lose Kwabenya seat, we are already, we've already lost. By her behavior, we've lost. So if there's a by-election that we lose, we don't lose anything. Case closed. Look, I have two kids with her, so I'm very, very careful the way I go about things. Family issues are put aside. All what I'm telling you is political, political efforts that we've made. I applaud Dokua. Dokua had just delivered two weeks. She left the baby to come here. The second one, she came. Agua says no. And now look at her conditions. Dr. Mwakuba, I respect you. Can I add What are her conditions? Adjua now is saying that before she comes, Daniel should listen. Can I just I'm not a madman just to go and talk. Adjua's condition is that you have to remove Alice Markin as deputy mini, uh, uh, deputy uh, majority, majority leader. leader. Yeah. Announce it that Alex Markin has been removed. Then she will take a plane and come here. Second one, another demand is that if you don't give me what I want, you are, you are not going to get the E-Levy passed. And if you don't pass the E-Levy, you go to IMF. So unless you give me what I want, I will never come. But apart from uh, her request to have uh, Alexander Fenyo Marking removed as deputy majority leader, what else is she asking for? Yeah, that what I just told you, that I will not come... Unless it's announced that it's been removed. Right. And the second one was that if I don't come, he levy, if you don't give me what I want, I will not come. He levy will not be passed. If it doesn't pass, you go to IMF. Mm. I had gone there to Chief of Staff's office to plead on behalf of Ajua. And he said, my brother, please, don't go there. If you are saying A, B, C, D, I've just spoken to her. This is her demands. So I said, well, I've done my part. What would you think would <clears throat> account for her request for the removal of the Deputy Majority Speaker? Well, Maybe she's not happy as a minister for what? Gender. Maybe. And again, Dr. Bwakuba stated that because of Mrs. Kwashiga's age. I will tell you straight. You see, all those people born in Accra, Kumasi, in the cities, you should go back to your village and learn common sense and wisdom. See, you guys here yeah, born in Accra, lot of gym babies, you take decisions anyhow. Go, go, go and stay with your grandmother, your grandfather in the village. You think, oh, we are a village boy, this and that. But the common sense, 
and the wisdom, the impact. Why I'm saying that is that the school feeding coordinators, mm -hmm. listen carefully. When Adwa was made the president, uh, the minister, mm -hmm. they came to me. Oh, uh, you are, Adwa is your wife. Tell her to remove Mrs. Kwashiga because she doesn't pay us. She doesn't do this. One, because of Asin Dumpim, wisdom, training. I did not listen to them, but I did investigation. And I realized that, look, these women that are complaining about Mrs. Kwashiga, they are rather inflating the schools. Kenoforiata has agreed with uh, Swedro MP, what's his name? No, this is my friend. But look, this, these are the numbers you have to take. It should be within the budget. The women organizers, MPP women organizers, on their own authority. Is that Kim Swedro? Yeah, or... no, no. Aguna Swedro. Aguna Swedro, okay. Women organizers in the party. No, that's uh, a Kennedy Osenia is Akim Swedro. No, no, Aguna, Aguna, Aguna Swedro. Aguna Swedro. A lady. It's a lady. Um, you don't worry, I'll get the name. She's my friend. You know, so what happened was that Kenoforiata and the minister agreed that this is the number you can take. And some women organizers in our party mm -hmm. on their own authority gave some schools to some women and up to date they've not been paid because it was not captured. So they had gone to that they had gone to Mrs. Kwashiga to change the names uh, of the schools or put in more schools for them than he said no. Cynthia Morrison is the name of the Yes, Cynthia. Uh, she should, uh, today, what she would do to me? My good sister, I have a problem now. <laughs> so these coordinators, they were pushing the woman and the woman said no. But you see, they made a U-turn, came and complained that I should convince Ajua to remove Mrs. Kwashiga, which I didn't do it. Unfortunately for her, she didn't listen or investigate. And within six months in office, you said that the coordinator should leave. And let me tell you straight. Let me tell you. I don't miss words. Me, in MPP, and you media people, the way you twist, I want to state it emphatically. And it should be reported as it is. Not twisting. Two things. Family matters, I will not discuss here because Ajua is good. Taking care of my kids. Mm -hmm. But politically, I will choose Mrs. Kwashiga over Ajua anytime. Anytime, any day. Because we have to reward hard work, commitment to party. Those days that Kwashiga put his life on the line for NPP party, where was Ajuazaf? You come to office in six months, you write a letter without even consulting the president. You write a letter to sack the woman. The only thing the president got to know was that it was in the papers that Mrs. Kwashiga has been sacked. Ah, ah, ah. What is this? So if the president instructs you to reinstate the woman, Otikwapai, Dr. Mwakuma, we respect you. You are a very good man, a loyal party, but respectfully, before you also comment, you should investigate and ask questions. Before you go and put it out there, if we lose, so what? We've been in opposition before. Why are we being threatened all the time? You lose, you lose, you lose. Well, do you consider that a threat? Yeah, of course. That if you make a mistake and remove Ajua Safu. I want to tell Dr. Mwakuba that Ajua Safu is in parliament in the name of MPP, 
but we are in opposition. So if we lose, we go to buy election and lose. It doesn't make a difference, I tell you. For the way the girl or the woman is treating MPP party. Look, we all have problems in the party. Me, let me tell you. All the sacrifices I've made, with the exception of the judge that I was annoyed, they wanted to take my land and I insulted them. Every court case that I have in this country is because of MPP. But nobody in MPP has even asked, oh, how is the court case? You clearly have a heart for the New Patriotic Party. Uh, you've called for compromise on the part of the NPP um, because the numbers really, uh, and you don't have a clear majority in parliament. Yeah. How do you propose this compromise is achieved? You know, we all have to put our grievances behind us. Just as I told you that I also have problems in the party. Me, I'm a businessman. The way I run my mouth to defend MPP, if I want a contract, I beg like a kid. Read my lips. Really? I beg, yes. I beg like a kid in MPP before they give me something. And when is when you go there for 100, they'll give you peace me, 20. I look at them and I say, Lord, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. But we are still surviving. It's not rosy as you, you see it out there. We all have problems, but party first. But party first. So if you think you have a problem and the way you are going to operate is to sabotage the party. Now, you are asking to, for the president to remove the deputy majority leader for you to be a deputy majority leader. Mm -hmm. Can, I will also go back to America and tell President Kufuado, resign before I come. Yeah. If President Kufuado should yield to address demand, I will also go to America. Then I'll make phone call to Chief of Staff. Well, tell President Kufuadu to resign before I come back. Somebody will look at me, Kenneth Japon. You talk too much. Okay, I'm also not coming to Parliament. What precedents are we setting in this party? Yeah. So please, we have to be truthful. I have kids with there, but it's gotten to this point. And this, as you say, purely is a long political yeah, Political. It has nothing to do with your no. personal relationship no. with her. No, this is political. Right. I think she's wrong. She should rather apologize to the party. They should stop begging her. They should stop begging her. Do you support the cause for her removal? Yes. But the foundation of late clearly tells you that I support for her removal if she doesn't come. And so, sit there and make demands. Prophet, Dr. Mwakuba, what do you know? When she refused to pick my call for 13 times, I tried Sunday, she refused. Wednesday, she sends her PA, calls me, and I just says, if you can help uh, our son's bill. I said, but when I wanted to talk to her, she did not even pick you. Ever since you've been her PA, have you heard that I have argued with Ajua even one day. He said no. So why did she place the call to you and not me? I'm not going to give her a dime. And Dr. Mwakuba, listen to me here. I, mean, I don't like people like that, honestly. I have vowed not to insult. I can never blast it here. Ajua Safu, Ajua Safu. Chief of Staff called me. I went there. Said, now this is what she's saying. I swear my mother's grave. Chief of Staff. Gave me 120,000 deposited in Ajua Safo's uh, Fidelity Bank account. Please, Amwakuba, what do you know? So, it, ah, a lot I, has been done. Yes, yes, I'm telling you. I put the money there in the Fidelity account. Ask her PA if what I'm saying is not the truth. Ah, well, now we are in opposition. The way Ajua is treating the party is clearly showing that we are in opposition. 
And this shouldn't be tolerated. Vimbaz TV.